Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your big sis Mo here. And today we are diving into how to properly oil your hair without getting that way down oily hair issue. So the first thing, and I feel like a big mistake that people usually do when they're oiling their hair is they just oil their hair without sectioning it off. Um, first thing we're gonna do is section it off our hair into four sections. I was zooming the camera in because I didn't realize, I, I was just wondering what I had so far back. We're focusing on the scalp here. So we're gonna section our hair off into four sections. And just an FYI, I already applied my cream. So I already applied my um, leave-in conditioner, I apply my mousse. I don't use gel as a holder. I use mousse as a holder because gel makes my hair extremely stiff the next day. It's too heavy for me. Even the lightest gels just don't work for me. So this is not being done on hair with no product in it. I've already applied my product and now we're using our oil to seal in that product. Um, as you can see next here, I get my oil ready and I'm only using about four to five drops of oil. What I then do um, is I apply the oil to the parts that I made in my hair from the four sections. Now what I meant was the oil is sealing in the moisture. I don't mean it's sealing in the product, we're sealing the moisture. So after I apply the oil to the parts that I made in my hair, we then apply it to the ends of our hair. And then I simply put my hair back into a bun and move on to the next section. Now, also something to keep in mind that I'm always conscious of when I'm working on wet hair is to not disturb the hair too much. So that's why I'm really trying to rub my fingers onto those sections. Also, trying to get the oil directly onto my scalp. I notice that sometimes when people oil their hair, they'll just like put the applicator into their bun or into their scalp with like no aim. So they're just kind of laying the oil on top of their hair, on top of the actual like hair so they're not really getting onto the scalp and what we're trying to do is have that hair penetrate our scalp because of course we're trying to nourish the scalp we're trying to lead to hair growth hair but also i'm trying to be very conscious of not touching my hair too much while it's wet because that just leads to frizz and makes the hair very frizzy before it needs to be because at the end of the day naturally curly hair is frizzy regardless and i know it's going to frizz up so i'm just trying to avoid making it frizzy faster and more frizzy than it needs to be Okay, now this final section, I do handle just a little bit differently than my other three sections. I've said in previous videos, this section is just a little bit more dense than the rest of my hair. So I split this section up into basically almost like two sections so I can get the like both um, sides of this patch um, because I, I usually also massage this um, side of my hair a little bit longer. There have been studies that show that if you massage your scalp for up to four minutes a day you don't have to do it the whole four minutes at once if you massage your scalp for up to four minutes a day then that can lead to thicker hair so i also massage this section just a little bit longer than the rest of my hair um and i oil it into two sections now what i'm going to go ahead and do i take all my hair down out of the buns and i'm going to diffuse until my hair is at 60 percent dry because it's winter i just can't do the air drying thing um it's too damn cold for that Doing this video was hard enough because I just don't even like wet hair on my back. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my diffuser attachment so we can start the diffusing process. Now I'm sure there are cheaper options out there besides the Dyson blow dryer, which is the blow dryer that I use. But this, I, I bought this twice. It's my favorite. It is my favorite, it's my favorite, it's my favorite. <laughs> I can't say that enough. Um, I do blow dry on the low heat setting and um, I only like, Sorry, blow dry. I only diffuse until my hair is about 60% dry. Um, then I'll go ahead and put my hair into a bun, put my bonnet on and go to sleep because usually I'm doing my hair at night, um, which is the time, which is when I have the most time to do it, which is when you should be doing your hair. So you're not, you know, doing it out of frustration, ripping out hair, possibly causing damage. You, you get my drift. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, this is the end of our video. I hope that someone took something from this and you're no longer afraid of oil and weighing down your hair. We'll jump back to a new video next week. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace out.